Next, we have the zones of a storage in a reservoir, in which, in a, how many parts the water will get stored in the reservoir. So basically, uh, while selection of while selecting the site for the reservoir, we already consider all the points that the ge according to the geological point of view, according to the hydrological point of view, according to the engineering survey point of view. So we had already decided that the site should be like this. Site should contains like uh, all the particles or site site should not contain this type of a condition. So after analyzing, after finalizing this condition, so here we have the zones uh, of the storage. So uh, the, you can see the first, there is the useful storage. Then we have a surcharge storage. We have a dead storage. We have a value storage. You can see in this image that there is a spillway, one of the hydraulic structures. We have the normal pool level. You can see here the oh, this is the spillway gate. So the normal pool level is what? See the maximum level to which the water will rise in the reservoir during ordinary operation condition. This is known as a normal pool level. So the dotted line which are showing uh, at the uh, at the head of this spillway gate. This is uh, known as a normal pool level. See this normal pool level is corresponding to either the level of a spillway crest or to the top level of a spillway gate. Okay. It is directly at the level of the spillway crest. Crest is showing here. That is the uh, narrow portion at the top of the spillway and the spillway gate is there. If the, there is a provision of a gate then the level of the water which is at the uh, top of the uh, gate is known as the normal pool level. So, the again, we have a maximum pool level. See, the, the level to which water rises during the design flood. Uh, always we are designing this hydraulic structure according to the design head. If in the future, if there is a condition of a flood, so, for storing or uh, for uh, protecting this hydraulic structure from the increased water level, hence uh, we have to design this hydraulic structure uh, by giving the design head. So, the water, uh, that the level uh, where the water will rise during this flood, design flood, this level is uh, known as a maximum pool level. You can see the maximum pool level also. Again, there is a minimum pool level. So, the lowest elevation of the water in the reservoir is to be drawn under ordinary operating condition is known as a minimum pool level. Now, this is the level of the water which is actually available in the reservoir. When the reservoir is at the ordinary condition, this is known as a normal. Then when it is, the level will be increased during the flood situation, then it is known as, its level is considered as a maximum pool level. And when the water will be, and the level of the water will be lowered because of the drawn, uh, drawn drawing of the, uh, because of the extraction of the water under the ordinary condition, or, or under the under ordinary operating condition, then the level is called as a minimum pool level. So we have these three types of a level. Now uh, let's see the useful storage. What is the useful storage? The volume of a water uh, stored between the normal. See here we are considering that the level of the water is uh, uh, will be at the spillway crest. We don't have a spillway gate. So the volume of the water which is stored in between the normal pool level and the minimum pool level is known as the useful storage. From this storage only we can uh, extract the water. We can use the water for the various purposes. The volume of the water below the minimum pool level is known as a dead storage. This storage will not help, uh, uh, will not give give us the any uh, volume or any amount of the water for the um, purpose. This see, uh, 
it is not useful under ordinary operating condition it is not it does not gives uh, give us the uh, water for using uh, or for the electricity per, uh, generation purpose for the agricultural purpose it it's simply stored in the in this storage zone hence it is called as a dead dead storage next is the volume of a water stored between the normal pool level and the maximum pool level this is known as a surcharge storage so excess water which is or excess volume of a water which is stored in between these two level is known as a surcharge storage and is usually uncontrolled because obviously because uh, it is uh, this storage zone will be uh, find out or will be available in uh, during the flood situation only so flood water will uh, obviously the water will, is not controlled hence the the storage is uh, uncontrolled one then we have a, a valley storage or it is also called as a bank storage see the volume of a water stored in the pervious formation of the river bank see we, if we have a poor, pervious section uh, under the section or at the bottom side of the reservoir so in this uh, pervious section or if the soil is there porous soil is there so this soil uh, contains or about the volume of the water which is stored in this type of a soil or above this soil is known as a valley uh, valley storage see uh, such a storage depends upon the geological condition of a river banks and the bank storage if it, uh, this uh, bank or valley storage effectively increase increases the capacity of the reservoir above that indicated by elevation storage curve so this type of a storage and this type of a level is some in university exam the question will be asked like this explain the various zones of a storage in a reservoir it might be asked for the 8 or 10 marks so you have to draw this diagram and you have to give the explanation about the storage as well as the level uh, normal level and maximum pool level so here is the explanation of this storage you can see this if you want to take the screenshot or if you want to write down this uh, take down the notes of this point so you can take down then next that we i had already told you that what what are the valley what are the bank storage is so i hope you understand 